League and more, we are back. We've had a hey I this. Just to remind you, my name's John Devine. This is Gavin Payne. Just so you guys remember who we are. Gav, uh, frustrating times. I mean, as as spectators, it is frustrating, but for a player, it must be just really driving them up the wall. Yeah, look, the continuity is always what you look for. Um, you know, there's if you've, it'd be good if you've got a little niggling injury, injury perhaps, where you can sort of get that right. But the players who are fit and well, it's it's like an off-season again, isn't it? Yeah. Well, <clears> and, and you talk about uh, motivation. Obviously, we've got uh, a bit of a touch-up from the Capras. Well, the following week on the Friday night down at Pizzy Park, they're a good, uh, a good outing against a, a top-four side in the Burley Bears. So there was a bit of momentum, and obviously... Uh, uh, players were starting to come back as well. Things were yeah. starting to look all right. And then, um, good old Delta, not yeah. Goodrum, um, Delta Boris, unfortunately uh, threw a spanner in the works. Just going to a, a hiatus, don't you, sort yeah. of thing. So it's um, <clears throat> it's not ideal. All the clubs are obviously in the same boat. So it's uh, it's disappointing. It's disappointing for the local spectators and that as well, obviously, mm. not to have a game. Obviously, the NRL's continued on. So there's been some, some football that you've been able to watch. But, yeah, not, not good. A lot of players coming back this weekend. Um, f- not just for this weekend over the course of a break here. Up against Redcliffe, last time, uh, only a two-point ball game, um, way back in round five. Uh, I know a lot has changed since there, but uh, Dolphin Stadium, um, they could really mess it up for the Dolphins, who are sitting fourth. Yeah, the Dolphins started off a bit slow as well, um, but have come good in, in recent, um, sort of the back half of the season, yep. I guess, and, and they're really on a bit of a roll at the moment. So, And it's always a classic you know, match. You know, you always used to look forward to the Redcliffe yeah. games as well, especially down there. I think it went for... Uh, uh, 10 years of my career without winning a game at Dolphin Oval, so hopefully that's not the case with these guys. Yeah, you better stay at home this weekend. But <laughs> yeah. Tonight, well, we, we've got uh, um, John Buchanan's going to join us, as, as is Mark Lidden. We've got Simon Pratt uh, from, from the Colts, and we've also had uh, Riley Jacks. Riley Jacks, yeah. From the <clears> Melbourne <throat> Storm, so that's really good. But the big one is obviously uh, the CEO's on. Yeah, Brian Torpy comes on to have a bit of a chat about what he can talk to us about as far as the bid went. Um, it's very interesting, I'm sure it will be um, when we get to chat with Brian. and. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's the current topic of the of yeah. the NRL world at the moment. Yeah, well, the season's starting to wrap up, and obviously uh, the grand final will probably be played here. All right, straight up, we're going to uh, get straight into the league more. Thank you for hanging around here. We've had three weeks off. Uh, you're looking a treat. You you got a solarium at home, mate. You look very bronzed. Oh yeah, no, mate. Just out in the yard doing the lawn work, awesome. mowing the grass, and you know walking thank, the dogs, and you know all back. those things. <laughs> exactly, I'll get out of the, out of the house, out in the yard. League more. We are back very very soon. Welcome back to League and More. I'm with um, John, is it? It's been a while, mate. It has, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. COVID, COVID has run amok. Mate, what have you done to try and keep the boys happy? Have you actually got to do individual fitness plans for each of these players based on their size and their abilities while you've been in lockdown? Uh, no, not necessarily. Our performance staff have you know, kept on top of that, mate. We Obviously, uh, it was pretty tough the first um in that initial lockdown that we we did it, which was what I can't even think now. Was it three or four weeks ago? Yeah, man. Um, yeah. So the boys had some stuff they had to do through that period. Once it, when the restrictions were were lifted partially, there we were allowed to train in small groups. Um, oh, like ten, yeah. Yeah. So we were allowed nine to a, a group, um, which yeah we were pretty limited there too as well. They were allowed to do some weights, um, some strength stuff, and then some running components. But we haven't been really able to do any skills or uh, football specific stuff for yeah the last five weeks now but generally that's, that's obviously across the board everybody's got in the same boat but when it comes to actually footy skills the boys have already got them but it's how you sort of uh, bring it all together with um with the, the story of the season so far for the tigers has been injuries and we've been cursed by injuries suspensions what the storm have got um is this a blessing in disguise but it's come too late for the the the, uh, the brisbane tigers yeah, well, look, I think uh, we just went through a selection this morning and I think there's only, there's probably four players that are unavailable for selection this when weekend. Was last time that happened? Yeah, it hasn't happened Round this one. year. Um, but, yeah, three of those are uh, obviously long-term injuries. Uh, oh, sorry, two are long-term injuries. One's an injury which was sustained over the last couple of weeks and then, yeah, we've got a, one player who uh, is unavailable this weekend. So, yeah, it's... Um, it was unusual probably to have a fair few to pick from. Um, and at this stage, yeah, we're still unsure what we may get back from Melbourne as well. Yeah, so, so that doesn't change. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this, this weekend you're up against Redcliffe. Obviously, the, the, before uh, COVID, you were due to play North. 
Um, so that's been changed. Now you're going to take on Redcliffe. The last time you played these guys, 14, 12, two tries apiece. I think the penalty kicks were one apiece. I think you might have just missed one conversion to draw that one, and you led that one too, I believe. Still at the tail of the tape, isn't it, Jamie? I think you're leading that one 8-6. Yeah, it is. I mean, we've harped on it a number mm. of times, but, yeah, I thought that day, to be fair, that game against Redcliffe was you know, a pretty good quality game of footy, and, you know, all the team, who got whoever got the result that day, you know, walk away knowing it was a fairly mm. tough game of footy. Um, unfortunately for us, we were on the, the wrong end of it, and... Um, yeah, it's, as you said, it's been a bit of a story of our year. But, yeah, look, they're going to be um, – they've got a lot to play for in regards to finals coming up. Um, so, yeah, they're always tough to beat at, Red, uh, at Redcliffe. They're a proud club. And, um, yeah, we're obviously under no illusions that it's going to be a tough afternoon down there. Um, but, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, uh, they're sitting in fourth place. But, you know, the biggest thing coming out of that game is obviously Ben Leslie's tries. It was magnificent. Off right underneath the crossbar, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. Pretty just close. To, yep. Mm. Close. So speaking of uh, the forwards, mate, we, uh, we, we've talked about uh, uh, injuries and all that sort of stuff. You, this is where you need to really beat the Redcliffe Dolphins, isn't it? They're, they're muscly men up the middle. Obviously, you've got Cameron Cullen. But, yeah. and, and somebody said to me, like, they talk about the Broncos, oh, when we get Reynolds, it'll be great. But unless you've got a really good forward pack, that's about who's, number, who's your number seven. Uh, exactly. I think, um, you know, they've got some unheralded forwards up there too. Yeah. You know, Lachlan, Lachlan Timms is probably one of the best forwards in the, in the competition. Yeah. Um, does a really good job for him. Um, Nathan Watts, another one who plays, you know, big minutes for him and, uh, you know, does a really good job in the middle. So, yeah, those guys lay a really good platform for, you know, their, their, their halves to play off. Um, you know, and Carlo's a seasoned pro at this level. Um, yeah, they've got quality, like Trey Fuller at the back, an outstanding player. And, yeah, look, they've got plenty of strike and we just got to make sure we limit the opportunities we give them. All right, so obviously uh, COVID restrictions lifted on Friday afternoon. You guys would have had a run on Saturday? Friday night. Friday yeah. night. Look, yeah, straight away. You got them out in the, out in the blocks out here. And uh, it's totally woke with stadiums now open. It's not a, uh, a leper colony at the moment. No, nah, it's, yeah, good it's to be back home. open. Yeah, no, nah, it's been really good. It was good Friday night. We just First time we'd sort of all been able to get together for a while. We did a, a post session against the Colts, which was really good. Um, yeah, and just good to get back around footy, to be honest. It's... Uh, you know, it's been a challenging year for everyone on a number of fronts, not just the football side of things. And you know, I think just for everyone's um, own sort of mental yeah. well-being, it was good to be back around footy. Yeah, I think the last time we uh, we spoke, uh, the guy across the road said, "John, you need to go home. Your mother's calling you, and you had to go come over and talk to us on the Zoom call." It's good to be back here at Toby Workwear Stadium. Um, obviously, you've got to go away to, to, to Redcliffe. The season's gone for the Tigers, JB, but I don't think there's. Uh, I think you can really mess it up because, you, as you said. The, t- the Dolphins sitting fourth. You knock them around. They've got to. Uh, they've only got one bite of the cherry. So there's certainly plenty for you guys to play for, and something to lead into next year as well. Yeah, look, we could provide an opportunity for some players to get a bit more experience at this level, and obviously we can make it as uncomfortable as we yeah. can for, you know, the opposition teams that we're going to face over the next three weeks. So, um, yeah, look, we we still got plenty to play for as well. It's um, you know, particularly our last couple of games here at home. You know, we haven't played. Um, you know, nowhere near well enough at home this year, so we're really looking forward to getting home for our last two games and, and getting two good results. Yeah, I didn't want to mention the last time we played, it was against you Friday night against Burley, but uh, uh, they're a quality And that really, and it's a shame because you started to build, build a little bit. You obviously got a bit of a touch up, well, not a touch up, you, you, I'm, I'm lucky against the Capras, but that was a really good effort against the Burley Bears, wasn't it? It's something you could have taken into that game against North the following week if we had gone ahead. Yeah, look, the Burley game was a. Uh, a strange one down there on the Friday night. It was, uh, yeah, it was good to actually play some Friday night for Yeah, I reckon. Um, yeah, we started well. Um, Burley, to be fair, probably weren't, you know, at their best in the first 40, and we, we did take our chances. Just weight of possession just killed us again. Um, you know, I, don't, I think we had two or three sets with the ball in the first, you know, 16, 17 minutes, and Burley controlled it really well. And before we knew it, I think, you know, it was back around 18 all. So, yeah, look, there. Yeah, there's a reason they're sitting in the top four. They're they're a really good footy team, and um, yeah, we probably just again just some players that haven't played a lot at this level um, probably got exposed, you know, a little bit at times in in that game, um, which which hurt us. But um, yeah, it was a tough effort, and I think you know um, while we haven't got the results at times this year, you know, a number of our losses have been um, you know by ten points or less. I think we've lost seven games by ten points or less. It's and they've been, we've been in the fight. We just have, we've probably lacked a little bit of polish to finish games off, and and um, yeah, probably just a bit of experience at times as well. 
That might uh, change this weekend, obviously, up at Dolphin Stadium. This is as windy as this today. Oh, my God, just sit, send it high. Um, and, and see how you go. Mate, the, the last four weeks, mate, you've you lost a bit of weight since... Uh... <laughs> I know I haven't. <laughs> Mate, I'm, oh, actually, I'm trying. Uh, one of our staff has given me a little program. I'm putting in some time, but I'll tell Is you. Is at the bottom of the budget cage now? It's, uh, <laughs> it, I, I hurt for the first four days after the first session, so. Mate, yeah, I'm trying hard. Yeah, all you can do is try, JB. One day we'll get it right, but anyway, we'll be in a box by then. But anyway, JB, all the best this weekend up against the Wreck of Dolphins. Should be a beauty. Good to see, have some footy back. We've got some troops, we've got some numbers, and um, all things uh, all things going well. We can finish three from three, would be ideal, uh, and not impossible, that's for sure. So good luck on the weekend. Thanks, mate. Cheers. League of Ball, um, very pleased to have Riley Jacks to my right. Riley, a uh, bit of a hiccup with COVID. How'd you get on, mate? Uh, did you try uh, cooking, anything like that? A bit of uh, Naked Twister or anything like that? What'd you, what'd you get up to for three weeks, mate? Um, or both? I've got a newborn at the moment. Oh, right, eh? Yeah, Good on you. So Congratulations. Thank eh? you. Yeah, he's uh, four and a half months old, so um, that's kept me very, very busy. Um, but... No, no cooking or anything, just trying to keep fit, trying to train yeah. as much as you can because you didn't know how many games we were going to get yeah. in the season, but uh, you want to be prepared. So just been doing a bit of training and helping out with the little fella. All right. Now, you're an international. Yeah. Yeah, you played yeah. for Canada. Yeah. Uh, tell us about, you. obviously, it's because of ancestry. You, didn't, you never have yeah. lived in the third world no. of Canada? No. No, I've, no, I've never been to Canada. Have oh, you? Yeah. Right. No, even when we, um, so I played two test matches for Canada back in 2015. Yep. And... Um, my granddad was born there. He lived there for four years and then came mm -hmm. over to Australia. So, um, and I still haven't been there, but uh, great people. Um, we played over in America, down in Florida. We versed Jamaica and um, America. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, it was one of the funnest football trips I've been on. Oh, it really right. was. They're a bunch of ice hockey players that just um, love the contact. So mm. yeah, it was a great couple of weeks there. All right. You didn't get the whole whole line of Canadians, you were just Americans without guns, that sort of thing, no? No, okay, okay, they, cool. yeah, no, fair yeah. enough, all right. Hey, listen, uh, you also played rugby union? Yeah, a bit during yeah. Uh, school, yeah, I went to Laurie, so mm. a bit of rugby. All right, uh, Pat Richards coaching you then? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah no, actually, fantastic yeah. coaches. Pat Richards uh, coached uh, East as well. Okay, so let's talk about the uh, your rugby league career, mate. Um, a bit of stop start last year, what did you get up to without any footy at all? Yeah, very strange one last year. Um, so we were in a bubble uh, at the Melbourne with the Melbourne Storm up in Twin Waters, and there was no Queensland Cup, obviously. So mm. we would just get smashed on every weekend, pretty much training. Yeah. Um, so that was pretty much it. Just trying to uh, get a game in the NRL when you can. Um, so yeah, it was a strange one, but it's, it's probably more stranger this year than last yeah. year, to be honest. Yeah, but stop. Uh, stop. Mm. But uh, the Storm obviously uh, on, on a winning streak. Brisbane Tigers, mate, how'd you end up here? Because uh, the affiliation with, yeah, uh, with the Yeah, Storm? yeah. So at the moment, I'm um, joining the bubble next week with the Storm, but I've been out of the bubble for a few months, so that's why I've been coming down here and, okay. and training with All these, right. yeah. Okay, you're up against Redcliffe this weekend. You, just, you don't care who you're playing this weekend. You just want to get out there and put the just, boots on and just hit someone? Yeah, that's it. You yeah, miss yeah. the contact. Especially if you've got a four and a half month, you're not allowed to do that there. But, <laughs> you know, I mean, but it's like, it'd be good to get out of the house, fresh air, and, uh, and do what you love uh, and do best. Oh, yeah, even training, just getting out of the house and wow. getting away from you the little <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah. Cannot wait to play uh, footy on the weekend and, and Redcliffe, always love versus Redcliffe. Right, mate. Uh, you happy with your form this year, even though it's been a bit stop start? Yeah, I've, yeah, can't even remember the last time I played. I think it's only been about six games this year, so oh, okay. yeah, it's been a crazy year, um, but hopefully, you know, a few more games this year can finish off good. All right, uh, you stand out for, for you this year, what was your favourite game? Oh, I can't even think back. Oh, the... Uh, game we versus Burley was a, yeah. it was it was Good sort win. of like yeah as everything sort of came together mm -hmm. and I think that's what we can do the team um, obviously hasn't been the year but that's what we can produce on our day yeah all right uh, it, it's we've talked about all year obviously that game Burley I think put fifty on Burley yeah yeah, but was, yeah big yeah. win um, but the the tail of the tape for the whole year has been the lead at half time and then we seem to fall over the back end I don't know whether. Um, JB speeches at halftime aren't as good as the other guys' speeches at halftime. But what do you what do you think it is that, uh, that that's let us down the back end? Is yeah, it well, yeah, just I'm bad not, luck. Oh, I'm not too sure. Like, because the last time I played with East would be 
Oh, it could have been April. Yeah. So, um, but I have been uh, following the results, and I've been seeing the same thing. So, yeah. um, I don't know what he's been saying at half time, but um, would have been choice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no doubt. But anyway, so you haven't played footy since when? You reckon April? It could have been around April. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. So you're pretty fresh. Uh, yeah. You, you packed it on. Pretty fresh legs. No, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. All right then. Um, the Storm, let's just t- touch on them briefly. Obviously, the hub. They've been away from home for a long, long time. Yeah. Um, how, how are the boys? I mean, are they really going a little bit stir-crazy? You know, they start to hate each other. Are they going to mm. start eating each other and stuff like that, like yeah. deliverance? <laughs> yeah, I've, I think we, we have a, one, a night once a week where we take the piss out of each other, and um, that's slowly stopped over the last few weeks. So yeah. I think there's the indication that, because uh, last year we were away for about five months, uh, yeah. I think it was five, yeah, and this year is sort of the same thing. So, yeah, I think I think the boys are a bit over it. Yeah. Mm, mate. All right, mate. Uh, look, all the best. Uh, get some footy under your belt. Uh, three games left, obviously, with uh, with the uh, with the uh, Tigers so far, and hopefully you get it back in the NRL mm. and get, get stuck in, in into that because, uh, obviously, uh, playing for the Storm, they've won 4,000 on, on the trot. Um, must be... It's like the Australian cricket team. It must be hard to get out of that team oh, to get into it. That's exactly yeah, right, they're, yeah. they're going all right. All right, well, good luck. What's, and what's the young fellow's name? Cooper. Cooper. Oh, I've got yeah. a nephew called Cooper. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He should be. He's got another two months to go and he'll be out. Um, all the best, mate. Yeah, thank you very Cheers. much. Thanks for having me. What's up? Well, we need to reintroduce ourselves. It's been a while, as I did with JB, Mark, the hitman Glidden. How are you, Glidden? Mate, it's been a while. Uh, COVID struck again. Uh, what did you do with your time with your players, mate? I spoke to JB. Did you did you have actually any plans for the forwards to do certain stuff uh, fitness-wise? Obviously, you've got a fitness and training, but was there any messages you went out to all the players what to do in their spare time? Uh, there was. What we've done, we've got a, a WhatsApp page. So um, our S&C coach, Lockie Trannery, uh, put some programs mm. on our WhatsApp page. They yep. had the video themselves doing it. And he made it a bit of fun too. They had handstand competitions, and I think one of the boys was doing a handstand drinking a schooner. But anyway, that's, you know, as you do. Sounds like the member but, for Redlands. Um, look, all in all, they took it pretty seriously, and, and their times were good, and uh, they were accountable. It was really good, and they were yep. accountable for each other as well. So I was quite pleased. And uh, when we did come back uh, the back end of last week, when they give us the all clear, um, some of the boys actually looking pretty good, Nick, so it was pleasing. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so, wonderful. Yeah. And then, um, obviously, you uh, got done by the Capras. You probably want to rewrite that one. There's a lot in the mind of the players for that three weeks. The last time we played, we got pumped by the Capras. Yourself, obviously, you'd like to have gone into a break. You can't pick when COVID's going to strike. Mm. It would have been nice to go into the, into the three weeks hiatus with a win under your belt. Oh, so well, the boys you know, lift out and they're kicking rocks. Yeah, look, in a perfect world, it, it would have all fell into place. But we went up there and um, they were really good, actually. They played well and they were pretty warned our blokes that they haven't lost at home this year. So mm. they're hard to beat up there and, um, you know, they, they put the cleaners for as simple as that. So um, full credit to them. Uh, they were good and we weren't. So our job's now to fix it. It doesn't get any easier. We got Redcliffe this week out at Dolphin Oval. So it's uh, ready or always hard to beat up there, the, the, you know, the, the great Redcliffe club and, you know, their million dollar grandstands and so forth. So. <laughs> right. uh, not long, I hope, totally work with. Um, you had an opposed session with uh, the Bears, uh, with the, sorry, with the Bears, with uh, first grade, uh, Eating Trust Super Cup side. Are you, are you back to full strength? Uh, not as yet. Um, oh, right. I'm, I'm hoping this week to have possibly Justin Smith and Eli Daunt back, uh, mm. and neither one of them. Eli Daunt hadn't played in 10 weeks. Um, Justin made a short uh, comeback um, and played one game, man of the match, and then broke his other thumb at oh, work. So, <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, and then he's broken his mobile phone. There's not too much he hasn't broken this year, Justin, but... Um, 100 metres? Well, yeah, very slow. So... <laughs> So no, we got them two guys back. Um, there's a couple not far off it, and depending on what Melbourne throw at us this week, I may get a couple back from Cup. I really don't know. I haven't really spoke to JB okay. on that. So. All right. Yeah, obviously we spoke to him on uh, uh, League More a few weeks ago. He was losing a lot of money on the punt, and he's been eating lentils ever since, so he should have lost a bit of weight. Uh, Redcliffe, as you said, the last time he played those guys was uh, back in round uh, 11. Uh, 40 points. Uh, sorry. Uh, round four, I think. Round four, I beg your pardon. It was against, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 32-24, good win. Yeah, it was. Look, I, I actually um, sat down and watched some clips of them um, last week. <coughs> Excuse me, I've developed the cough well, all of a sudden. No, that's right. Yeah, it's COVID. <coughs> Fantastic. We'll be locked down. Thanks to Mark Levin. Was, anyway, um, but in, in, in saying that, it's... Uh, 
it's good to get that uh, <coughs> re-enthusiasm back into into the boys because they've been out of the game for, for three or four weeks, as with yourself. Um, how are you going to try and, you know, we've, we've seen it against West, uh, against Wynnum, came out of the blocks nice and fast. Before that, <coughs> slow starts at the start of the season. Something you want to, you know, keep an eye on there. Yeah, look, we like to start um, <coughs> flat and fast if we can and get off to a good start. We didn't do that against the Capras. Um, mm. When we played Redcliffe in round four, we um, <coughs> we started flat and fast and and ended up getting the choggies. And same when we played Wynnum. So um, we can get flat, play some flat and fast footy, minimise our um, minimise our mistakes and hang on to the footy. I, I think we'll be in good stead. All right, um, just sort of <coughs> that, mate. Um, don't worry, Bill Clinton had the same problem. We knew how to fix that. Um, oh, obviously, yeah, the, the uh, Redcliffe uh, sitting fifth on the table. So the, um, you're sitting second. We're not going to worry about three weeks of finals. Uh, but that was a long time ago. That's ten yeah, rounds well, of footy ago. Yeah, and look, look, I looked at their side this week. There's not many blokes that actually played that day that are playing okay. at the minute. There's a few in cup, and we're similar. Mm. So um, you know, so it, it's hard to say until I see their side. Um, I won't really know, and, and we're similar. I have no idea what my side's going to be this week. So mm. we just have to uh, wait and see. Any reports on the boys after they had that uh, post session? Were they a bit sore on say, probably not Saturday, but on Sunday? <clears throat> Oh, I don't think so. It wasn't full. Not on. bruises, but it just hasn't run. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, think they forest. were all right. It yeah. was actually really good. I, I thought JB's boys were really sharp and they threw a fair bit at us. So I thought defensively, I, I thought we were really good. Um, we were just a little bit off in attack, I thought. We put a little bit of footy down, but um, his boys were terrific. I was quite, I'm sure he was quite pleased with how they conducted themselves. So. All right, well, Redcliffe, you're at 4 p.m. Uh, yep. Twilight. Uh, might be a little bit breezy up there, but see how you go. <coughs> um, sitting second on the table, so we don't worry about the rest, but you want to come home with three on the trot. And um, Will you show the boys any of the clips from the cap, or will you just put that aside? No, nah, we've already done that. Well, so done that's, 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 that's long gone, that one. Uh, that's yesterday's fish and chip paper, as I say. So our main focus is on what we control, what's us. And um, obviously we're playing ready this week and that's who we concentrate on. All right, I asked JB this question. I'll ask you the one same as well. Did you lose any weight <coughs> over the last three or four weeks, mate? Uh, no. Mm, makes two of us. Yeah, probably put a little bit on, actually. If this, uh, yeah, we're running out of room in here. It's sort of like <laughs> not so squeezy yet. Mark Glidden, all the weekend, all the best on the weekend. 4 p.m. And then the following weekend, you're back here? Uh, our last two games are at home. But, yeah, what's, so what's Tully Workers really at So, uh, yeah, win away against Redcliffe and then come over with a wet sail here at uh, Tully Workers. Be nice. Outstanding. Fantastic. Well, all the best. No, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right, the Colts sitting second on the ladder. I'm talking to Simon Pratt, mate. Uh, let's quickly talk about three weeks in no footy. Did you go a bit nuts? Yeah, I did actually. Um, it's been it's been a long time, sit, like you know, sitting on the sideline, being able to not play any footy. But um, look, it's been it's been refreshing actually, playing um, you know, not playing, you know, getting the body back in order yep. and stuff. So yeah, it's been good. Well, the thing about rugby league is there's the culture, and there's the mateship, and all that sort of stuff. So the banter before a game. Uh, before training, after training, all that sort of stuff. That's you. You, don't, you can't replace that, can you? No, you can't. No, and it's been, um, you know, it's been a long time. You know, not being around the boys and stuff mm. like that. So, um, yeah, it's good to be back. Certainly, um, back in Winford Boys, and you know, you're getting the culture around them and stuff. Yeah. It's good. There's only so much Josh Cole's uh, TikTok you can watch, isn't there? Really, you know. That's it's, exactly right. It's yeah. Sleep yeah. And some people jump out of windows. Yeah. That's just another story. <laughs> but uh, listen, mate. Uh, the season, as I said, sitting second on the table. You're up against Redcliffe. Uh, the last time you played these guys, you beat them. But the last time you guys played footy, I don't know if you played in that game against the Capras. Yeah. It wasn't um, uh, wasn't good. They got, they they ambushed you up there at uh, Marley Brown. They did. It's a um yeah you know it's a, it's known to be a tough tough trip away up there. Um, and obviously you know they won it more than we did at the time, and they come out over the top. But, um, you know, we're looking forward now to Redcliffe and uh, hopefully we can get the two points. Is that a kick up the backside? Because I want to say you were sailing along nicely, but your back-to-back wins left, right and centre. And then you come up against the Capras, a little bit of complacency, my, I yeah, suggest would yep. have been, because you've got the ability and the talent. Yep. Um, kick up the backside, you need, but you've got three weeks to really mull over it too. Yeah, I suppose so. We've got that little bit of time there where we, you know, dwelled over that. But we've moved on now. Um, you know, probably... Yeah, a bit of complacency there. Um, you know, probably probably good for us that we, you know, we got a tune up there and um, you know, brings us back down to even playing field with the rest of the other teams. So right. no, it's um yeah, it's okay. So. You played Redcliffe in uh, round five, I think it was. Did you play that game? Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah. Okay, good win in that one, a tough a tough assignment. Uh, but that side from what I hear is completely different. It was a long time ago. You don't really Yeah, go into it was that, a, um, no, it was a bit a bit in the past, but um, you know, we um I suppose we we took the two points and we've, you know, moved on. And then, yeah, so we up, up against them again this weekend. So see how, see how we go. But, yeah. Well, how did you end up with the year of the, uh, the Brisbane Tigers, mate? Um, well, I actually moved, moved up here at the start of the year. Um, 
finished school last year actually down Lismore um, yeah. and then yeah moved up here got the opportunity um, and yeah so I'm enjoying it and you know it's been good so all right uh, Lismore school mate uh, did you uh, leave there or did you get expelled no, no, I um, no, I actually finished year twelve last year at St John's College Woodlawn. Okay. And, um, yeah, yep, yep. So and is that a rugby league or rugby union school? Um, it's a it's a rugby league school. Okay. Predominantly, yeah, but it does um, a bit of union play there, but yeah. 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 How'd you go? How'd you go there? Um, not too bad. Uh, last season we um, got got you know put aside because of the COVID, but um, okay. you know that happened. So yeah. So did you have to do some homeschooling last year? A um, little bit, yeah, yeah, oh, wow. yeah. A little bit late end of the year, so a lot of cheating. Yeah, a little bit, yep, oh, yep. Boy. Ticked Fantastic. off, yep. <laughs> so, no, <laughs> Terrific. It was, it was good. Um, let's talk about uh, obviously you, you're you're new to the Brisbane Tigers, so there's a little bit of a culture there to yep. get used to. Yep. Um, um, is it true you've got a photo of Gavin Payne in your wallet? No. 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 Really? You want one? Oh, I'd love one. I'd love one. <laughs> throw, <laughs> throw it in there for me, would you? Oh, see, he'll sign it for you too. Yeah, uh, get, a, get an autograph. Yeah, but have you go. He uses crayons, so it takes up most of the photo, but that's just another story. But anyway, um, obviously, you're the better looking of the Pratt brothers. Um, is that a burden? Oh, I guess, you know, I don't know. I, um, there's always a competition there between yeah. us, but um, yeah, I suppose I've probably come out the better, better end, haven't I? Oh, totally, mate. <laughs> well, I, I saw him on Zoom at the time, and, um, but uh, there was bars in the way as well, so, you know, he's just about to get out and get his uh, yeah. orange jumpsuit off. But, That's uh, exactly right. All right, listen, um, your form, um, obviously the break, your, what do you want to improve on? Um, obviously, individually, I just want to try and, you know, keep keep getting better each week, you know, match fitness and stuff like that. Um, yep. I've been getting through the 80, you know, reasonably well, but, you know, that's something to work on now that mm -hmm. since we've had our break. But, you know, as a team, we just got to, you know, bounce back from the um, from the loss up there um, and, you know, try and find some good footy. Um, right. which we'll, as I said, you've got record next week, 200 yep. games uh, to finish off the season. Yep. You're totally working with uh, Stadium. Hopefully no COVID comes in on that. Hopefully, but uh, yep. that's uh, another case and uh, hopefully all the best. Yeah, uh, what did crossed. you do for the three weeks, mate? Did you take up any other sports? like? Uh, um, no, I didn't actually. Yeah. No, I had a, had a bit of a break off the, um, off the football. And work-wise, were you able to work? Yeah, still work. There, here okay. and there, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but you know, trained, trained pretty hard and stuff. So, yeah, okay. looking forward to get back into it. Ladies and gentlemen, Simon Pratt uh, joining us here at the Brisbane Tigers. So, looks forward to their uh, momentum towards the finals, sitting second on the ladder. And uh, he finished one too. You'll, uh, you've got two bites of the cherries, but uh, let's bring it yep. home against let's the Dolphins. It'll be real handy. Sounds good. Always a pleasure, mate. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, very special guest here on uh, League and More is none other than uh, Brisbane Tigers CEO Brian Torpy. Brian, uh, apart from COVID, which we've gone through quite a bit, but the big news obviously coming out of here, the Brisbane Tigers, the Firehawks uh, proposal. You, uh, you guys went into uh, the war room yesterday and put your proposal forward. Happy with the uh, what you came out with, mate? Yeah, no, it was, it was a really good uh, pitch. So we had a good opportunity to talk to. Uh, to the assessment committee that they've set up. So uh, no, very happy with it and very positive. Um, so um, we're just waiting to hear back from them. A couple of questions they might have uh, to clarify a couple of things, but otherwise uh, it's pretty good. Uh, obviously uh, you've you got Shane Richardson and Shane Edwards has come on board. So yep. these guys, are uh, they're heavy hitters, but uh, they know their stuff. I mean, you must be really chuffed to have some guys on the board who have actually been in starter clubs, know what, what, what's expected of NRL. Uh, no offence to yourself, obviously yep. you're, you're, you're new to the whole concept of NRL clubs. But you've uh, you've left no stone unturned in recruiting the best and the best of what they do, and you've also had other other players players coming to the yeah. game as well. Yeah, look, we're quite everyone knows about Shane Richardson, but you know, people may not know that Shane started here uh, as a coach, and then uh, we ended up became president of the club, and then um, he went with Johnny Lang to um, to Cronulla, and then uh, they played in the Super League Grand Final, got him to there, and then he went to Penrith, and then won a Premiership at yep. Penrith. Um, and then uh, he went to South Sydney, of course, had success there in another premiership. So he knows rugby league. He's mm. been around a long time. Uh, he understands how it works and he understands how the NRL works. So very fortunate to have Shane and his son Brent, who's a, a marketing uh, expert and uh, has done a lot of work with us with our, our marketing plan and our digital communication plan that we're going forward with. So he's been fantastic. Uh, Shane Edwards, uh, very fortunate to have Shane. Yeah. So if people don't know Shane, uh, Shane was a marketing manager at Expo 88. So he goes back a while. Wow. Uh, and then he was a marketing manager at the Broncos for, I think it was about uh, four years. And he became uh, CEO for about seven to ten. So, uh, And that was right through a very um, successful era for the Broncos. So he's been, uh, he's been invaluable on the board yeah. as a director. Uh, and he's just recently retired from a uh, senior role with Alliance Airlines. So he, it's great to have him here. And he's uh, added a lot of value 
Um, so he's very keen. Uh, he loves our loves our model that we're working with, and uh, he's he's very keen to get us uh, win this bid. Yeah, we, we we've got to split the whole thing. The, the, the rugby league side of things, as in players, coaches, and all that stuff, that, that's something to worry about. Richard said, "Well, there's no point in approaching this way. We're putting the cart before the horse. Let's get all the modelling done and what we think is going to work best." for the 17th uh, team in the NRL. You've done that, you put everything together, we, put, we know about your assets, we know about uh, uh, your uh, um, uh, money in the bank and all, this, all that sort of stuff here, but when you've got brain trust, because you can give a fool money and blow it, but you haven't got it, you've got quality, smart people around you yep. to drive this, 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 this thing home. Yeah. Look, we've got a really good board. Yeah. Like, if you look at our board, um, very experienced, uh, qualified uh, uh, solicitors, barristers, um, we've got uh, chartered accountants, a uh, couple of accountants. Uh, we've got marketing people. We've got um, people involved with, uh, with youth uh, and welfare. Uh, and we're looking to add also another uh, director that's got um, experience in, uh, in education as well, uh, quite extensive. So we've got a really diverse uh, board, yeah. very experienced board. And uh, one thing about East is um, we, um, you know, we've got a good history of managing financial yeah. Um, uh, financial management. So um, we, whilst we've got um, uh, money in the bank, and it, it will it will cost money to, to set up and get the, the club running. The business model is cash positive, yeah. and uh, we'll make a profit. So um, uh, it's great to have a leagues club as a, as a cushion, as yeah. uh, as Richard likes to call it. But um, um, it won't require. Uh, it's good for backup, but we won't be relying on gaming funding. To, for the business model. Yeah, well, if you're going to rely on a lease club, and then obviously you guys have done it without any uh, really any government money either as well. So which you've, you, you've done everything right. You've also you, you've got young Zach on board uh, yeah. as well. So there's a bit of a yeah. diversity about that as yeah. well. Yeah. So Zach Sarah has joined the board yeah. as well. So people don't know Zach. Back, uh, Zach's uh, originally from Bundaberg, and he came down and uh, to university in Brisbane and played for for the Tigers here in the 80s. Yep. And then he went and played for Wyndham Manly as well. So Zach's now a magistrate uh, down in Wyndham. I might get his number. And, uh, mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so he, he's fantastic when it comes to you know, youth and uh, yeah. well-being and uh, make sure they're keeping on the uh, straight and narrow. All right, let's talk about football a little bit. I think this is brilliant. The Capras, uh, uh, as an affiliate to the, uh, the, to the, to the Firehawks, yeah. how good? I mean, it's a, a big nursery up there. They're screaming for it. They're hanging on there. Uh, too good against us the other week as yeah, well. So, yeah. but it's a great. Uh, I love the initiative, and it's not just the Capras. We'll talk about that, but West as well. You're yeah. not just targeting one area, are you? Yeah, no. We'll, we'll let's talk about the Capras. So the yeah. Capras, uh, we know, been in the cup for a while. They've probably struggled with affiliations with NRL club because it is, you know, if you're coming from out of uh, out of state Queensland, you got you got to fly to Brisbane and then you got another yeah. plane fly to Rocky. But um, the benefit for us would be uh, it's an hour flight up to Rockhampton. Um, They've got accommodation across the road from the ground, so it's yeah. a pretty, it's a pretty um, seamless um, uh, journey up there to play. Yeah. And uh, part of the affiliation is that players not selected for the Firehawks would go back and play for the Capras. So um, we're giving we, you know, the opportunity to get those you know three or four NRL players mm. on a weekly basis that will really make them more competitive uh, as, as any of the clubs that are in the competition. So uh, we'd also look. Uh, co brand an academy with them up there oh, as well. Okay. So uh, we'll work with that. Um, we'd have a, an academy manager that would, would go up there and work with uh, their elite kids in that area. So uh, that'll benefit those those players that they can come through mm. uh, the Capras, um, you know, Connell, Meninga, and then Cup. And then if they uh, obviously uh, can progress through to playing NRL. Um, don't, don't, obviously the Capras and then uh, further afield. Yeah, no. Well, we've um, we just started our junior clubs down at Flagstone, so we we've got clubs in Logan. Uh, Springwood Tigers also in Logan City, uh, so that Southern Corridor down there um, in the back end of, of Logan, uh, yeah. we're we're working. With Flag Flagstone's going to be a big place. So Flagstone's yeah. going to have one hundred and twenty thousand people in the next twenty years. So with with projections, so uh, we're keen to get rugby league happening down in that area. And mm -hmm. there's a lot of young families with young players. So uh, we want to get rugby league in there and and beat AFL. And the other codes yeah. in there, and uh, we've probably established the first uh, football team in that in that area. So very pleased with that. Um, we're working. Uh, we've uh, just worked with Swifts as well uh, in Ipswich because they got themselves in a little bit of strife uh, a few years ago. So we're helping them out from a governance point of view, right. and uh, also a bit of development work as well. So uh, we've got um, we've got those relationships in Ipswich as well. And for people who don't, don't remember, very famous club, Swiss. It's a foundation club in Ipswich. And uh, Desi Morris, of course, and Morris 
brothers uh, came through there, and uh, and oh, there's another family out there called the Walters or something that played uh, played out there as well. So very famous troublemakers. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, very famous. Uh, yeah, uh, family. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's interesting you say about the uh, that corridor down towards um, the Logan area because I, I do know uh, Queensland Rugby Union were keen to get a, a Premier Rugby side, and then that, that fell over. But uh, uh, that's that's a different story. But there's a lot of talent there. I've seen a lot of players go. Uh, up and down the highways, but it's, that'd be great to have that little corridor all, all uh, sealed up. So with the proposal, that's it now, Brian, or they will come back and ask you a few questions, but now it's in the hand of, of the Volandis and and the and the yeah. and the and the crew that he's got there to try yeah. and make a decision. Yeah, no, we've given them a, we've given a two hundred page uh, submission document. Yep. Uh, complete with financials, so uh, they might have a couple of questions we presented. So yep. they have a couple of questions, and then they'll go back to the clubs and have that discussion and. Um, and make a decision from there. All right, ground development. Um, the season's obviously been extended, so obviously that's thrown a little bit of a spanner in the works in the, in the start of, uh, of that process? No, not really. No, we finalised the designs and okay. we're going out for tender this week. So uh, we're still uh, well on track to turn soil uh, in, um, in October, uh, probably more the middle of October okay. than the start. But uh, So we're ready to go and uh, that'll, that'll progress and we're just working through a bit of logistics about you know how we're going to work around training and a couple yeah. of those things because there's there's a few things. That well, that's what I was, yeah, I was wondering because obviously the season ending a little bit later, obviously with the Colts plays, and obviously preseason starts in November, so it's a little bit of a yeah higgly piggly there. But yeah, um, shoot, uh, we well, we'll we'll have a look at uh, preseason for probably more for Colts. They might get uh, extended a bit. Yeah, because true. their season probably starts a little bit later. And we and probably found this final. year, they had a very long pre-season, the Colts, because yeah, okay. they started late. They started at the same time as Cup training, but they, they started uh, competition later. Because you've got that mad, mad Mark Lidden as a coach yeah, there. Right. Right. <laughs> they tried 12 months a year if he had his choice. But anyway, so yeah. Yeah. But like I said, you, you've done your best. You put it forward. I think it's a fantastic proposal, and I think you have, it. Uh, as I said to you, I don't think you, you can't do any more than what you've done. You've got a terrific board. Uh, you're comfortable in, in what you've put, put forward, and I think... Uh, well, if you guys get, if, if the Brisbane Tigers, uh, sorry, the, the Firehawks were to be beaten, they want to have a really good proposal, yeah. mate. They've got to be coming out of the water to do something yeah. to knock over what you yeah. guys have put forward. So you must be pretty proud of what you've done, mate. Oh, yeah, no, it's been good. It's, uh, it, was, it was a fantastic milestone yesterday to, yeah. to be able to present and put that case to... Uh, to the commission. So you slept right last night? It was good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Brian Toy is right. the CEO of the Brisbane Tigers and obviously on the board of the, uh, the Firehawks. And so fingers crossed. And I'll give you a, is there a time or a date? Oh, uh, I haven't got the exact time frame. Okay. But hopefully it'll be soon. 200 pages, mate. <laughs> Could be a while. <laughs> See how we go. That's yeah, 600 reading. Yeah, anyway. Brian, all the best. Oh, just right, speaking of the uh, Colts, obviously, uh, second place. Uh, the the, the, the uh, Intrust Supercut, unfortunately, um, they've only got three more rounds to go. Hopefully, yep. we'll get through all that. But uh, yep. they could really make it a mess this weekend. And two home games at the back end of the season here at Totally Workwear Stadium. Should exactly. Get down here and uh, get some merchandise. I should be able to get stuff that i got in here, what Brian's got on as well. Is that, and... Um, uh, my push for a uh, Brisbane Tigers mankini is still on the back burner, but let's see how we go and something for you wear in the summer. I think it's important. Now, we've got Redcliffe this week away, and then we've got two home games yep. to finish the season off. And it'll be the last game uh, when we play the Cutters of the uh, unredeveloped ground. So, yeah. uh, Can so you get we'll... a bit of grass? Can you come out and... No, the grass stays, but oh, uh, you, take a piece. you might... Um, you might be able to get a brick out of it. <laughs> uh, right, we don't want any Parramatta things with a burning green thing. Around, <laughs> no, right, no. So. Oh, dude, we'll no. stop anyway. Brian Toby, all, all right. the best, mate. Thank Congratulations you. on your proposal, oh, mate. We look, uh, yeah, it's a lot of, uh, we just got to wait. Yep. So yeah. There you go. Cheers, Thank mate. Thank you. Well, we had some uh, superstars on the show. We, uh, we yeah. had a bit of a break here, but what did you make of uh, Brian Torby? I think they've, there's nothing much more they can do. Yeah, you know, the, I guess I'm looking at it through black and gold coloured eyes, yeah. or brown and gold coloured eyes, whatever colour we want. But you know, it's um, it seems to be positive. You know, we had um, Richo was on last night, as as Brian mentioned on mm. on NRL 360 and so forth. Um, every time I read the paper and Peter Padel, Padel's reports, you know, it seems to be favouring the Tigers. Um, I know they don't know any more than than yeah. anybody else. Um, so. It's interesting. Um, it's very nerve-wracking, I suppose, for the for the Tigers as well as the other bid teams. Yeah. But you know, we're forever hopeful that we can get the Tigers into the NRL. Yeah, I don't think they've, they've left no stone unturned. They've got a great board at those Edwards mm. and uh, Edwards and, uh, and Richo as well. So, and football side of things, and going to the Capras is, always, is, yep. is a wonderful move, I think, for uh, for the for rugby league in general. And yep. remember. We're struggling a little bit in the state of origin. We need to get these uh, these grassroots clubs up and running and, and get a bit of NRL players and filter down so we can get these players for for state of origin. Um, Redcliffe this weekend, 
uh, 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. for the Colts and um, for A grade, uh, Intra Super Cup. But um, Colts going all right, sitting second. Yeah, yeah. Look, they I think they had lost the last game against the Capras as well, so mm. it was a double a double dip out for the Tigers in that regard. But um, you know, you they put the wins on the board early, so they they can afford a loss or two. Yeah. And as they say, it never goes goes astray if you have a loss late in the season. But but they travel along really well. All right, and uh, yeah, like I said, the Redcliffe this weekend, then two home games to finish off the season here yeah. for the Intra Super Cup. But obviously the Colts are going to go a little, uh, a little bit further in the competition. And just as Brian said, your last chance to come down to uh, uh, Totally Workwear Stadium or Langlands Park, as has always been known, um, just for the very last time, just to uh, to reminisce on what's happened in many, many years. And uh, uh, 91. Um, very good. Get, very good. Year close, very good memories. Yeah, exactly very good right. memories. So, all right, uh, Lee Moore, we'll be back again next week. Uh, stay safe, mask up. You must check in everywhere you go. And let's keep uh, Queensland safe so we can finish this uh, rugby league season. Obviously, it's been dragging out, but let's get back and do some footing. All right, Gaff, I'll let you go back to the Solarium. Cheers, mate. Thanks.